Hello and welcome to the seventh fundamental investing with the use of programming tutorial. Where we left off, we found ourselves uh, becoming pretty limited with this S&P 500 list, and we really need to expand this list before we can really move forward. Uh, initially, I thought we could at least just get over the principles, and you guys could do whatever you wanted to do in the future. But I imagine that pretty much almost all of you guys are going to want to move on to the Russell 3000 or greater. And so that's what I think we're going to do in this video. Originally, I thought, you know, we'll maybe move to the S&P 1500, then maybe the Russell 2, then maybe finally the Russell 3. But why not just get it over with, show you guys how to do the Russell 3000, because there's no easy way to do it. We're going to have to use programming just to get all of the, just the tickers that we want for the Russell 3000 to use in our program here and, you know, just make it into an array like this, right, that our program can use um, and work with. And luckily, you know, that's kind of the benefit of having the skill of programming on your side because you can do all of these things. And so it really is just a huge empowerment to you if, if you do learn to use programming, even if you're doing like a skill like fundamental investing, which historically doesn't need very much programming, uh, but you can use it. So it's very helpful. Just another reason to do it. So to get this Russell 3000 list, uh, the what we're going to do is first go to Google and we're going to search for the Russ and it moves on us. Uh, let's bring it down here. Russell 3000. Go there. Go to Russell.com basically and you can see we arrive at Russell 3000 index. You can jump to membership. That's what we're looking for. And they give us a complete membership list PDF. Not the format we want but we can work with this. So click that and you should have a window pop up like this and this is your whole list. Now obviously we don't want the PDF so we're not even going to save this. We just want, we really just want the tickers. You know, if only there was a way to just get the ticker list. Um, but anyway, um, a good reason, you might be able to find somebody on the internet who like has listed out the ticker list. But kind of the reason you want to go to Russell 3000 for this is it needs to be updated. And you know, obviously with this top 3000 list, it's who you know those those bottom uh, probably I don't know 2,500 companies might change fairly frequently as opposed to the top you know the S and P 500 companies don't change as frequently um, so just keep that in mind it's good to go ahead and get it from this site so the next thing we want to do I'm just gonna you just control A to highlight everything and then control C we're gonna copy everything and now what we're gonna want to do is put this in a text document somewhere. And it just so happens I have one somewhere in my directory. Okay, so bring up the directory where you've got all your um, files in it and just do, you know, like a new text document. And I'm just going to call it the Russell 3000. So that's, that's what's gonna, what it's going to be. Hit enter again, bring it up, and now control V, paste it in there. And then now let's do a quick bit of housekeeping real quick. First of all, at the end here, you can see that it does this as of blah, 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 blah. Uh, we're going to get to that because that's kind of problematic, but for now we can at least delete that one and then delete. So now it ends with this company ticker, and as we scroll up, you'll see we have some more of these as of, you know, we'll deal with that in just a minute. Uh, so scroll all the way up to the top and then get rid of some of this other stuff like as of, and it starts here. Okay, and let's go back to the bottom and make sure we didn't have an extra line. No. Okay, so now we're good. So save that. Now the next thing we want to do is get rid of that as of. So the next thing we want to have is Notepad++. If you don't have Notepad++, you could do it with programming, but it's just going to be a lot easier with Notepad++. If you don't have Notepad++, uh, go download Notepad++. Um, you should be able to just Google Notepad++ and install it. Um, here is you know, Google search Notepad++, then you could go, I don't know, SourceForge and download it. Okay, so just download it. And so anyway, once you've downloaded it, you know, maybe pause this if you have to download it. Once you've downloaded it, go to Edit with Notepad++, and we'll come over here. Let me drag it over. Now we see, okay, this is the stuff, right? And everything is the same, right? It's as of blah, 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 blah. So highlight just one of these examples where you have as of 
and copy it just in case, but you should be able to do control F and it should already be there. Go over to the replace tab, come down here, delete, and then replace all. So basically it's gonna find every instance of as of 628-2013 Russell indexes, replace all, it's replacing them with nothing basically, so now you can see that's done. Save that and then exit out of it and we're done with that. So now we've got a full list of basically just the companies and then their ticker, right? So that's a start, but really we just want the ticker, right? So now we're gonna work on getting rid of you know the company name and then just pulling just the ticker. And so I'm gonna stop the video here and then in the next video we'll be talking about, um, this time we actually will make a program to do this part, um, getting just the ticker, building it into an array so we can actually use this array. So if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned in the next video. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for your support and your subscriptions and until next time.